Hey guys, Zark here, and today we are back with another video, and I'm actually playing the Sun and Moon at the same time, uh, with Sun and Moon Down, should I say, uh, which is pretty cool, so this is a live com, but basically we're going to be speaking about everything to do with this demo, everything to do with Sun and Moon coming out, and the first thing I want to touch on, um, which I'm not going to say too much about, uh, especially not in great detail, is that there was a huge, huge amount of data mining going on. It's still going on. Um, but it leaked the whole Pokedex, it's leaked the TMs, it's leaked items, it's leaked moves. Um, some of it's been scrubbed, but most of it hasn't. So there's a hell of a lot that are still um, you know, being discovered. If you guys want to go and check that out, uh, go for it. Um, but otherwise, you know, there is leaks out there, so be careful. A lot of people will be posting stuff and whatnot about it. I actually have no idea what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to run around with this Taurus. So, um, yeah, just be careful about that if you don't want to get spoiled. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to um, for the last month of the game because people will have absolutely data mined the crap out of this and released a lot of things about it. Uh, secondly, we're just going to uh, speak about just generally what I think of this game um, as a whole, what I thought of the demo and everything like that. So the first thing is obviously they took the 3D out of it, uh, which, you know, it kind of sucks, but you still got the 3D sprites, you just haven't got the uh, 3D aspect. Um, well, many people used it anyway, so it's not like too big of a mess, but it does, you know, suck a little bit. I'm going to do some capturing. Um, what else? Um, the movement feels a little bit slack. Uh, it's not like the worst in the world. Like when I first um, played this, um, I was a bit, you know, weary of it. Uh, it didn't feel, you know, as smooth as what I would like it. And it doesn't when you're turning. When you're moving, it's fine. But as soon as you try and turn left, right, whatever way, it's very hard to actually turn uh, which you know kind of sucks in fact it very very much sucks um, but it's you know it's not it's a bit of a hindrance but it's nothing else I don't know why I'm actually versing a why am I versing a Pikachu I'm gonna uh, run away from this Pikachu so it's a little bit of a hindrance but it's nothing too bad um, one thing they have uh, done which I like is they've increased the super potions from 50 to 60 before there would be this big whole argument about, you know, why would you go Super Potion over Fresh Water, because I believe Fresh Water was cheaper um, than a Super Potion. They did the same thing. They increased that to 60. They've decreased Tackle from 50 to um, 40 base power. Um, my brain just went a bit dead then. Uh, I'm not doing very well at catching these things. Um, so... They did that, which I think was also pretty cool. And there's a lot of other things that the data mine has leaked out that I think are pretty cool as well. So I am pretty excited about this game. Uh, overall, do I think it's as good as what everyone was thinking? Probably not. Uh, I think there was a lot of hype because it took two years to make. And to be honest, there's a lot of things that I thought they would do, which they didn't. Um, and stuff that I thought, oh, there's no way they're going to change that. And again, they didn't. But... We haven't played the full game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like Pokemon Insurgents in the fact that it's more story based rather than uh, your journey. So previously uh, in every other game it was basically the story, the uh, evil team and everything was a side um, rather than the actual um, like main bit uh, because you had the uh, gyms to go to and everything. Whereas in this one I believe, yeah, you got to do all the island trials, beat the Kahunas, beat the Elite Four, which apparently you've got to make and everything like that. But apparently this game is also very much more story-based. Um, so it's going to be like 60%, 70% story rather than 30 and 40%. So it's pretty cool that it's going to be like that. Uh, I can't really wait um, for that to happen. I think that's going to be really, really damn cool. But... Other than that, I think, you know, I think Sun and Moon is going to be a pretty solid game. There's a few flaws, there's a few pluses, and we can't really know until the full game comes out. 
Um, so that's really all my opinion on it so far. I mean, I can't really say much else because of the um, leaks. I don't want to tell everyone because I know I wanted to keep a secret, but I just gave up in the end because I do a lot of Pokemon roleplay, so I was bound to find out anyway, and the curiosity got the better of me. So I think that's really it for this video. It's not a very long video at all. Uh, there's not really too much I want to go in detail with. Um, so I think the final thing I'm going to say is basically how things are going to go down in the next couple of weeks. Um, leading up to Sun and Moon and then what's happening at Sun and Moon. So what's going to be happening is that I'm probably going to be uploading Pokemon Insurgents three times a week. And now I'm going to do Free Talk Friday and then another video. Now if that's obviously Pokemon Sun and Moon news that will be that. If not it will just be something random. Might be a CSGO commentary. Um, I've got a lot of stuff planned for CSGO, but that's probably going to be happening after Sun and Moon um, comes out. Uh, the s second thing is I'm going to speak about, obviously, is when Sun and Moon obviously comes out. Now, I said that I wanted to do a playthrough, and that is still going to happen. But I don't want it like this. Uh, because, you know, yeah, you can watch it, but it's hazy, the lighting's bad, it's very frame rate. And I don't like it, and I want to have my videos excel in the best they can in quality wise. So, what's going to happen is in the next couple of weeks leading up to Sun and Moon, I am going to be buying a Logitech G, no, Logitech C290, I think it was called. Uh, I'm not actually sure the uh, full um, name of it, actually, I can find it out. Uh, I'm going to be buying, yeah, the Logitech Pro C920. That's the one I'm probably going to be buying. It's about £60. Uh, so it's a little bit expensive. But apparently it's going to be 15 megapixels. 1080 um, by 920. So it's going to be nice quality. Uh, nice aspect ratio. And everything like that. And hopefully we won't have the black bars around. And we won't have uh, how you know laggy and um, bad lighting it is. Um, obviously I'm always going to have limitations. Rather than getting an actual capture card. But I don't have the time, I don't have the money, and to be honest, I don't really want to spend the money purely because I've spent way too much on YouTube as it is. <laughs> um, you know, for something that might not even work, it's pretty, you know, expensive to think about. So I think that's really it. I think when Sun and Moon does come out, I'm going to be doing maybe an hour uh, videos, or I'm going to upload two episodes a day of like half an hour or something, I'm not really sure. Uh, it all depends because normally they take about 40 hours uh, of my, my experience. They take about 40 hours to beat, which is 41 hour episodes, which goes to just over five weeks. And by that time, I think people have already had enough. Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe hour, hour and a half videos, two 45 minute videos. So it's an hour and a half a day, something like that. I'm not really sure how uh, what I'm going to do. I'm also probably going to stream it as well and then just export the stream out, cut it into videos and upload it. So people that have um, followed me on Twitch and watching me on Twitch will get an advantage. Now that is not confirmed and that might not happen purely because I still do have college and stuff like that. I normally record my videos on a Thursday, uh, Thursday morning uh, because I now have a job at HMV uh, which is pretty damn cool. So. I'm going to be pretty busy um, with my job and obviously my college work. So I have no idea how this next month or so is going to go down uh, up until Christmas. So I hope you guys do come along, stay on the journey. Uh, and with that said, I think that is going to be the end of the video. So if you guys did like this video and you like the concepts of what's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new on my Jordan content. I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do a GoFundMe soon or something like that. Um, so you guys can donate if you want to. I'm not uh, obviously going to pressurize you or anything like that. Uh, it's totally your choice. And that's just going to be for £50. Um, that's going to be the goal um, for the webcam. Um, obviously it is 60 so I'm still going to be paying 10 of my own money if I got the whole goal, which I doubt. But it's just so you guys can get involved. I accidentally hit my webcam, so I apologize. It's just so you guys can get involved and help me out um, a little bit. So, with that said, this has been Zara. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video after this capture, hopefully.
hopefully. Maybe. There we go. Peace out, everybody.